everyone. Welcome. Happy Thursday morning to you all. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, we have a special guest here. She'll be here a little bit this summer. This is Fallon. This is my daughter, Fallon. Fallon, how old are you? Six. Six. Do you like to craft? Yes. Yes. So my name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel, my co-host over there, is Hi also everyone. an owner and craft educator. And we're going to get a little crafty today. Fallon is, I mean, we've all been missing Fallon. Yes. To craft. So we're all yeah. glad she's here. So Aunt Nana's on. Do you want to say hi to Nana? Yeah. You can say hi to Nana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. So I released, and we talked about it on Tuesday. If you weren't here on Tuesday, we'll do a little recap. Um, three new cut file collections over the weekend, and one of them was a Father's Day themed cut file collection um, that you can put footprints and or handprints in to customize them and make them adorable. So uh, there were 11 of them. I have nine of them here on the table, and we're going to make two today. So most of these are print and cut. You can do these in a variety of different ways. You can do them all in cardstock layers, which is what we're going to do with one of them today, two of them today, actually. Or you can just flatten them and make pattern or make print and cut cards with them. I'll show them in a little bit. They're still wet. I literally finished these. I was washing my hands and then came on set to go live. <laughs> um, the, go overhead, Rachel. Let him see. Let him, okay. <laughs> let him see. This is an actual handprint by the Fallon. Her hands are a lot larger than I remember them being. Um, and the baby is not here today with us. I was going to use his feet and his hands, and so we had to get creative and make make our own little footprints. So I think Becca did a phenomenal let, job. Let's just use our imagination and, and imagine these don't look like Sasquatch babies. No, no. They're this one great. actually is not terrible, um, but look, it has a little footprint in the tractor. Happy Father's Day. That's adorable. And then this one is the uprights. I got a little carried away. Dad, I love you to the end zone and back. And then the feet are the uprights. Again, Sasquatch baby. This one has like six toes. <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened. Um, and then we have the MVP here. This looks like the hand from, um, out, was it Outcast with? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. volleyball. Sure, sure, sure. Imagine it's a cute baby handprint. And then uh, you are possum. <laughs> so cute. You could do this with a cat too. And um, I'm trying to remember who it was that suggested. Which one of our members was it? I should never have called out. One of our amazing members was like, you, you could put, Dad, you're perfect for a cat one. I think it would be so cute. Then we have this dill pickle jar with two feet, which once again are special feet. Um, Dad, I love building memories with you with a little footprint into the hammer. Dad, you're terrific. Pull it down just a smidgen. There Sorry. Uh, anyway, so lots of really cute options that are really, really simple. I made all nine of these in less than an hour. So if you... And that's with me talking to her and her kids asking her questions. Yeah. So if you're focusing... So if you wanted to like do a group like maybe you had several kids or grandkids or something like that and you wanted to make cards with your grandkids for their dads or grandparents or whatever, you could do that and just pre-make these, have them all printed out and ready and do them really quickly. So that's a really good option. But we are going to do layered cards on the live today. And I'm excited to do it. Are you excited to get a little crafty? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's see who else here and what everyone is saying. And then we'll get started. Okay. Miss Crystal is here. You met Miss Crystal at our camp trip. Remember? Miss yeah. Crystal? Oh, that's okay. Um, and let's see who else is here that you know. Maria is here. You met Miss Maria. And Miss Linda is here. You met Miss Linda. Uh, I don't see Kat on here, but you've met Kat. If she, oh, there she is. But she said, sadly, I'll miss most of the live today. I have to go rescue some koi from a friend's pond. A blue herring keeps coming and murdering them. Oh, gosh. That's awful. That's terrible. That's awful. Yeah. Okay. Fallon looks great with her glasses. We just learned my son needs glasses. He's very excited. We hope the glasses will help with his daily headaches. Yes. How are your glasses going, Fallon? Good. 
oddly enough, you know, we used to talk about how that nobody wanted to sit next to Fallon at dinners because she would always spill her drink on them. Since she's had her glasses, Fallon, how many drinks have you spilled? A lot. No, none. She Zero. said a lot. <laughs> Zero. You're, yeah. So I'm wondering, <laughs> just wondering. She is rescuing the koi. Yes, Stacy. Okay, so let's, um, can you throw me that cord, Fallon, the black cord? We'll go ahead and connect to my computer and show them what we're doing. That's okay. Thank you. Show them what we're doing today over in Design Space. So before we go to Design Space, let's look at the files here uh, on the website. If you are an Oakland member, all of these files are available to you. They are included in your membership along with a free commercial use license, which means you can use all of the files on our site and sell projects with them legally. So that's amazing. Anyway, here are the ones that are specifically for hands and, and feet prints. Now, I've mentioned it before, and it, there is a disclaimer in the description of the files. Let's click on here, and you can see when you click each one. This file does not contain the hand and footprint indicated on the graphic thumbnail. The thumbnail with print is merely to indicate the intended purpose for the file use. Ink paint or use ink paint or vinyl to place your own hand or foot on the craft in conjunction with the file. So, so it's cute. just like a template. It's kind of amazing. Um, let's go back over here. So we have 11 of them like this. And then I went ahead and continued with the file. So I completed the file so that we also have the files for other uses. I think they're really cute. Look, the, the rocket and stars, I don't know why. I absolutely love it. Me too, Becca. It's so cute. So we're gonna be making that one today. They're loving the dill pickle. I mean, it's the cutest. I love it too. I love pickles. We're going to be making this one today, and we're going to be making this one today, the dad trophy. So let's get started. Um, to download our files and use them, I, I don't know if we have any new beginners here. We may have some rewatching. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through the whole process for you. It's really easy to use our files. Um, and because we are Cricut crafters, we are laser cut crafters around here, we make our cut files specifically for use in the die cut machines. Not all, all cut files are created equally, but they are here at Oak and Lamb. Um, so let's go ahead and download this one. You just press download if you're already signed in to your account. Oh, doesn't want to let me. What's going on here? Uh, interesting. I've never seen that before. I have blue on my lips. <laughs> okay. Let me look. Do I really? I don't yeah, see so blue on your tiny. lips. Oh, I do. Thanks, Fallo. I have paint on my lip. That's cute. It won't come off. Oh, well. Okay. So download now. This fun window comes up. We're going to press download, and it does come up as a zipped file, which just allows us to have large file sizes um, that are easily downloadable. We can double click here and you have the PNG and the SVG version. Uh, I, my preference is always an SVG version over a PNG unless there's some element in the design like a glitter effect or tie dye effect or something like that that cannot be translated as a pixel based image. Um, so always choose SVG if you can because you can easily flatten and create a print and cut image. So let's go over here. We're going to open up a blank canvas or just delete this one off of here. Press upload, upload image. And then I'm just going to drag and drop straight from this download folder right here into design space. Press upload and then select this and add it to my canvas. Now I'm going to be working with it and I'm going to be working with the rocket one. So let's go find it and we'll just go ahead and add both of them to the canvas. Um, cut, add to canvas and view. Now, apparently I did not grab that one. Add to canvas. Now we're ready. You're reading it, yes. To the, what's it say? Good job. Okay, 
This one right here, I'm going to do, like I said, in several different layers. So let's, let's look at it right here. You can see in the layers panel here, we have the hearts as one layer, we have the best dad as one layer, we have the body of the trophy as one layer, and then the base of the trophy is a black oval here and sort of a gray base here. So to build this, I want to duplicate. So I have the entire file selected. I'm just gonna press Command D on my keyboard, which will duplicate the entire thing. And I want to weld this together or unite it, either one, so that I can have a base to build this on. So I'm gonna cut this out of cardstock, cut these pieces out, and then glue it to the top just to make it kind of thick, right? Love it. Love it. Then I'm going to put Fallon's handprint right here but I am going to do that on a separate piece of cardstock and then we'll hand cut it out and place it on there. Does that make sense? Okay, yes, your hand. Now that is finished other than sizing it. So let's look at this and see what size we wanna do. Um, eight and a half inches tall. Let's make it more like six and a half. six and a half that looks good and then let's look at this one i'm going i'm not really going to do anything to this one other than size it so the size card the finished size card that i'm going to use let's see here if we get to put a big fit on here it's gonna have to be a big finished card isn't it so let's make it um Um, uh, sorry, I should have thought about this beforehand. You got four feet? No. No? Okay, so if we make the width 11 and the height eight and a half, and half of that, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Would be 5.5? Yes. Yes. So we're looking at 5.5 by 8.5. Let's send this to the front, bring to front, size this a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. That looks good. We can delete this square because I'm not going to be using it. I will be cutting it out of other things. Now, um, let me look at the colors here. I want these stars, but I think I'm going to cut all the stars out of the same color. Right now there are three different colors and I just really don't want to place three different card stocks in to do that. You can do it if you want to. But to change the colors, all I'm gonna do is come up here to color sync and I'm going to drag and drop so that all of the stars are in the same uh, grouping of colors. Just like this. Okay, so all the colors are the same now. And then the other thing that I need to do is change the color of this text because I'm gonna be cutting this out of different Material. I'm going to cut this out of vinyl and this out of cardstock. And if both of them are black, then it's going to try to put them on the same mat. And I'm going to be lazy and do it all of it at the same time. So let's just go ahead and change the color of it so that we know um, that it's not going to be cut out of the same color. And we'll click make it. We have our Explore 3 selected. We have several mats here, and that's fine. So we have this fun orange color. We have the black, which is the top of that graphic. This. Okay. I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite things. Are you all ready? We're gonna put all this on the same mat. mat. Okay. So we're going to move this. We're gonna move this to this mat. So move object. We'll put it on this one. And we're going to place it over here on the right side. Now we're gonna look at this. We'll move it to this mat, and we can place it down here. Now we're going to look at all of these stars. I wonder if I can select all of them or if I have to do them individually. I'm going to have to do them individually. <laughs> no, we may just leave that one. I don't want to place all of them. Move this here. And then this here. And we could have just gone back and color synced all of this to make it easier, but we're already in this. 
It's still blue. Okay, put this here. And then what else do we have? Blue, the rocket top. Blue here. And then that will be vinyl, so we'll leave that on a separate mat. The hearts can go over here on this mat. Place them here. And this one, let's see if we have room. Let's go ahead and leave this on here too so that we're not too confined on this. So the way that I'm going to set the piece of cardstock up is I'm gonna look at this right here and see that this piece right here, I remember it needs to be black. So I'm gonna put a piece of black cardstock right here in the top left-hand corner of my mat. I remember that this was white, so I'm gonna put a small piece of white cardstock in the top right-hand corner. This so was you're using blue. your digital mat as a guide for your physical yes. mat. Yeah. Yes. So I'm just going to pay attention to this. And I, I intentionally put things all the way to the left and to the right in the corners so that I could easily line up my pieces of cardstock in that way. So let's go ahead and grab our mat and we can start putting pieces of cardstock on the mat here. Um, maybe we'll see. I can help, you can get my brayer what and grab brayer? the brayer right there, your favorite tool. And then let's do this. Thanks, Bex. My favorite tool. <laughs> your favorite tool? Yeah. This is my favorite tool. It's your favorite tool. Okay. We'll just grab this thing of oh, cardstock here. It's a good idea if you're using lots of different cardstock colors to grab a like pack of cardstocks like this because all of the colors are the same like jewel tones or pastels or yeah. things like that. And so it's just really easy to find colors that look really great together. Um, now I can decide a couple of things. If I wanted the base to be a different color than black, like a two tone black, if I wanted the base to be like two colors of orange or something like that, then I could use just two different tones, the base of the award, rather. Let's go, I don't have any black in here. Let me use this color gray. And let me use, I wish you pick purple. is this the same color? Oh yeah, okay, that's okay. They're both gray. Yeah, they're both gray. I had just pulled one up earlier, it's okay. Green is my favorite color. I'll use it for something else though. We'll use it for part of the rocket. Can I use the purple? Yeah, we'll use the purple since you like purple. Do you want this purple or the- The pretty purple, the light purple. I thought you liked dark purple better. No, white purple. Oh, have you changed your mind? I don't like that because, I don't like the dark one because it looks like black. Oh, okay. This one here. I may need some more card socks in a second, we'll see. Okay, so let me grab this piece right here and some handy dandy little scissors. Handy dandy little scissors. Pay attention on your mat to how big of a piece you need. It is nice because it does have the grid on there to tell you, you know, it's one by four or something like that, or it's gonna fit in a one by four inch square. So place that on there. And then let's see here. We'll use, well, this blue because we're going to do the top where the rocket. the rocket top is. So it will go, let me grab my true control knife, Alan. What is that? It's a true control knife. That's a great question. A true control knife is like an X-Acto knife, but it comes with this fun lid and it's just really easy. It's a great ergonomic design for your hand as a crafter. Um, and we love it. It has really easily interchangeable blades. Although, Rachel, we don't change our blades that often, do no. we? No, we I need don't. A picture for you. Honestly, like maybe like once a quarter, if that. Yeah, if that. If that. It, it, it's kind of like your Cricut blade. Only change it when you feel like it's not cutting like you want it to cut anymore. And we use it all the time. We do. So it's not like it doesn't get used. Yeah. I made a picture for you. You made a picture for who? You. Okay. That's cool. You're a good artist. 
I am a good artist. I like coloring. You like coloring? You know what I didn't get, Fallon? A yellow color for the gold part of the trophy. You need the gold. I need the gold. Does Dad deserve a gold trophy for Father's Day? Good old dumpster dad. Good old dumpster dad. You think he does? I've trained my children in a terrible way to chant Mommy's the best <laughs> to their dad. <laughs> you want me to say it? No, you don't have to say it. They'll think I'm a terrible mom or a wife. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I won't say it. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. So I won't tell Nana. You won't tell Nana. Nana already knows how mean I am. Stacy said, I don't think I've changed my true control knife blade once in two years. I use it pretty often. Right. They're, they're made well. And you guys know we're honest about what Cricut products are and are not made well. And that true control knife is made well. It's Yeah, it's one of our favorites. And let's be honest. Like, what you're cutting with it, it's not like you're cutting steel with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're almost finished with this, and then I want you to take a look at my finished mat, and then we'll reference back to the mat in Design Space again. You need my favorite tool. Yes, you can bray it. Bray it down, Fallon. Bray all that down. Look how pretty these colors are. These are beautiful colors. I love them. Becca always has the guts to do this all-on-one mat thing. Well, I mean, I just cut my cardstock pieces really, really big yeah. so that it's pretty foolproof. Watch, I'll have some sort of terrible craft fail, but no. it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so you saw this. Let's reference back to Design Space really quickly so you can see just have plenty of space. I could have probably added some other things in here, but again, I just want to be safe. So let's go ahead and press continue. And then we're going to connect to our machine. I am using the medium weight cardstock setting for this. Are you going to turn this on? I will turn. It's on. It's already on. See? trying to connect now right now no it's on right now the blue power button is on it's blinking at me tell me i guess the blue means it's bluetooth it's correct. connecting bluetooth correct yeah stop blinking i may have to connect via please check that your machine is connected my machine is connected let me try one more time if not i'll just it's hard blinking. there we go medium card stock And it has this block mat selected. That is correct. We'll Go ahead and to you all. load it. Let's move your hand for a second, Paolo. It's gonna okay. measure our mat there. Paolo, do you have any fun plans for this summer? Uh, um, I wanted to have a day with dad. You wanna have a daddy-daughter date? Where do you wanna go? Where do you want to eat? Where's your favorite restaurant? Olive Garden. Olive Garden. What do you like really? to get at Olive Garden? Wow. Pasta. Pasta? Oh, yes. But you never let it go there. You, you're like, no, 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 no. I love Olive Garden, but the problem is I don't love to eat heavy meals for dinner. I like to eat them for lunch and only do like snacks to dinner because I normally stop eating around 4.30. Um, we Listen, could, I would say no to Olive Garden every time because it tears my stomach up. Does it really? Something about something they're doing back there in that kitchen. Oh, does man. Not I love Olive Garden, but I have to let you know. I think Fazoli's breadsticks are better than Olive Garden. I agree with you. You know why, Becca? Because they're soggy. They're yeah, and that's exactly you and what I, I love. I want them soggy. Like, I want them like, marinated wet. in a bag of butter. Wet. It's wet right there. Yeah, I think yeah. it got a little condensation on it. I want I want a wet breadstick. I agree, Rachel. <laughs> don't give me any. I don't want to bag it. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so let's look overhead, and we can see how well this cut out. I didn't have any grab bells, Rachel. I'm so proud. This is so good. I didn't doubt you for a second. Did you not? No, not for a second. That gives me confidence, Rachel. Mm. I think not everyone watching really gives me the benefit of the doubt. I always do, Becca. You I can know. always count on me. That's true, Rachel. You're right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do the smart thing and leave this stuff on the mat so I don't lose it and just get a new mat. I think that's a phenomenal yeah. idea. Traditionally, I don't have great luck 
on lives with remembering where my pieces are. That's great. Is this going to be a good mat? Yeah. It looks pretty because it's your favorite color. Feels pretty dirty, Fallon. <gasps> oh, the, I think this is a better idea. We don't want to cry fell, do we, Fallon? No. How would we recover from that? You want me to throw these away? Uh, you can if you'd like. The trash can is under yeah, that's right there. Okay, so next we're going to do the star. So I'm just going to grab that yellow piece of cardstock that I already had and place it on here. Uh -uh. Just like this. We'll bray it down. Bray, bray. Bray, bray. Can you press the, yep, flashing load button for me there? So Rachel and I are doing something fun this evening. Um, that we've never, I mean, we've done it before, but never like this. We are going to teach an in-person crafting class. Yeah. Um, Rach, how are you feeling about it? Good. Me too. I mean, we've been doing it for like years and years. Yes. So. I'm excited. It's, it's fun being able to teach people something that you know like the back of your hand. Yes. It's exciting. I also, I absolutely love beginners that ask questions. I love it. Yeah. I love people that ask questions that are eager to learn. So it's going to be exciting. Hopefully it's one of many for us. So here's the challenge. <clears throat> the challenge is that we were told we had two hours. Now we have like an hour and 15 minutes. And this, the crickets are still in the box. There's five of them. There are five crickets. So Rachel and I are going to try to get there early and like open and unbox things and kind of set things up. But they don't even have cricket accounts. We're going to have to do that. And, and we've been told we can have more trainings, even like as early as next week if we need to. So we'll see how the staff feels after. Yeah, we're hoping yeah. for like a four hour training, which I think would be really good. Rachel and I were like, we're going to not, we're just not going to have, we can't get off on tangents like we normally do. Yeah. And I, I mean, we're going to make them comfortable, I think, with the physical machine, get their account set up. Yeah. Uh, maybe get them familiar with the supplies that they bought on Amazon and then kind of answer some questions. Like I literally, we have it set up to where they can make a card, a tote bag and a, like a keychain. I don't think that we're going to be able to do any of that in an hour and 15 minutes. Not by the time. But again, we're, we have it ready to be able to teach them next time, which is great. So let me ask you all this as new cricketers. I mean, you all are seasoned. Crick most of you are seasoned cricketers now. Yes. But as a new cricketer, what would you have found most beneficial in an hour and 15 minutes? Is it an overview of design space or would you have like in this setting, would it be more beneficial for us to help them set their accounts up and then start to finish, make the project? Yeah. Like what would you do? Yeah. Now there's five machines, 15 students. Yes. Yes. So just letting you know, like every student does. Again, have we have machine. an hour and 15 minutes. It's not like, and Ideally, again, I would want to do all of that. Yeah. Again, we, we knew going into it that we were going to have limited time anyways. Right. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be fun either way. It's going to be My good. thought is this, and you all let me know. We are going to be giving them, they, they are getting the ONL Cricket Academy course. So with all of the information, with the uh, terminology, they get the handbook, they get all of those things. So my thought is to go in and say, okay, this is how we're going to make a project, our first project. Yeah. And all of the information about like Unite and all of those things that we learn as designers mm -hmm. isn't as relevant as just pull in a cut file. Or Size it, press go. Press go, yeah, weed yeah. and do all of that uh -huh. stuff. And then they can learn the terminology from us maybe next week. Yeah. Or they can watch the videos, the videos. They can look at the handbooks. Let me know what you think about that. Yeah. I, I think if, if I was a beginner as well, and you all let me know, I think I would love that video in o l Cricket Academy of the design space overview. It's 45 mm -hmm. minutes. It's a play lot it, of information. Play it, pause it, rewind it, all that good stuff. I think that it's, it would be less confusing because also you have to get into know in, in the class tonight, we don't know if they're going to bring laptops, uh, iPads, their phone, their Android phone. We don't know. So if we were trying to do a design space overview and show them and they all have different types of devices, we would have to stop and start and make sure they all are comfortable in the same area. I, I mean, hour and 15 minutes is going to go by in the blink of an eye. Yeah, honestly. And I mean, we kind of know what we're going to do, of course, but. Okay, yeah. so what are they saying? Are they answering? 
Um, I would set their accounts up and do a mini overhaul of Design Space and try and squeeze in a project uh, to totally get the Cricut cuts and not prints. Okay. Uh, are you doing a series of classes, Megan? Yes, that's we probably hope, yeah. yeah. We're honestly we're probably going to do several. I would think the next one is definitely going to be a four hour class at least. Yeah, we uh, we actually asked to reschedule this so that they when we could do it when they had four hours because we were, were just so concerned. We don't want them to feel like we don't want to give them so much. Inf we want to give them enough information for them to be successful. Yeah, but we don't want to give them so much information that they feel lost. Yeah, does that mean I, we don't want to leave with them more confused than they are confident? Correct. That's not our that's not our our goal. But it's gonna it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get there. We're gonna introduce ourselves. Get the crickets unloaded and, and everything like that and hopefully get their account set up and get them familiar with what we can before we have to leave. Anyway, we're hoping like to eventually have like a, or this is the first time we're doing it. So go ahead and press the, the play button. Like a curriculum or an outline of things that we follow and things that we do and and whatnot so that we can go around and do this yeah. like for schools, for um, the boys and girls clubs, for different staffs, for friend groups. I think it would be really, really fun to do this. So we're going to. Oh, this is a great idea, Megan. She said I would open up the crickets and do the setups of the account and give them homework to complete, which is to watch a couple of the videos. Okay. And I think, Megan, Be this is a good idea that you and I could pick a couple of videos that they need to watch like first and foremost. Okay. Design space overview 100%. Definitely. And then Absolutely. we'll see we'll see what techniques they want. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Love it, Megan. Thanks, Megan. See, this is like this is one reason why I mean, you all benefit from the community, but I, I would say it's more beneficial to us. I mean, you all you all teach and inspire us a lot. Well, I mean, we're just so submerged in this and have done this for so long that it's it's hard to remember what it was like what I wanted when I was a beginner yeah. or when I just started out or I mean different learning techniques learning styles it's I would have so killed for training when I first okay. started my hands are freezing why are your hands so cold <laughs> you don't have blood in your fingers no. let me cut them and see no I'm joking I'm joking I don't cut my kids fingers Did I cut your fingers tell them what we had for dinner last night Mellow, mellow mushroom. Tell them why you like it. Because their pizza is good. Because they have vegan pizza that you can eat. Yeah. I'm allergic to egg and milk. Yes, you are. Okay, let's weed this really quickly. Let me grab a scraper tool here and scraper? a scraper. What is this? This is a scraper tool. It's a squeegee. Uh huh. Let me un. Like that there. Fallon asking the hard questions today. These are good questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we just grab stuff and go with it, assuming people know. It looks like now food. I have a lot of good scrap pieces here. I am not going to let those go to waste. Let's cut this really quickly. Um, you, I could have sliced this so that I could put these together, but I didn't because I wanted the spacing. I didn't want to have to deal with it. But I can cut this off and save this in my scrap bin. Look at that, that's a huge piece of vinyl that I can save. That's magic. And I'll use it. Rachel, do you use scraps now? When I can, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was I like magic. to look at my, my scrap bin and see what I got in there. Uh-oh. What happened? Did you break it? I didn't break it. It wants to come up. It was just that one, thank goodness. Can you give me that mermaid pen over there? Yeah. Hey, we're going to see Little Mermaid on Monday. Who all is going to see? I'm excited about it. It was my favorite Disney movie growing up. Rachel, are you going Monday? I, I cannot decide. Okay. Because people in that audience have paid to be there, and my son. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think that my son is going to sit still for a grand total of five minutes. I would and say you're if he starts right. screaming and running, like people. If we had like rented out the whole theater, I wouldn't be worried about it. Right. But other people have paid to be there, so I pr I probably shouldn't go. I mean, uh, Anna's baby, the perfect age to be a not on a log. Right. And then of course your baby is a not on a log. Absolutely. I mean, he 
honestly, guys, on Sunday when we went and visited Becca, my son was running full force into the lake. I, he was trying to kill himself. He was trying to kill himself. And then Sammy was, would sit in a camp chair for six hours straight. Yeah. And be so content. It, he's, yeah. So Charlie's just, he's, he's built a little bit different. He's, he's like a tornado. He's like a tornado. He's either running or asleep, and there's no in between. Rachel, so. tell him tell him about sleeping on Sunday. <clears throat> tell him who got snuggles. I don't I don't like to talk about that. I kind of put him in this like death grip. He didn't really have a choice. Charlie will not snuggle me. He won't let me rock him to sleep for weeks, probably months at this point. Nothing. He's a little snuggly in the mornings, but that is it. Like ten minutes a day, I get snuggles, and of course when. Uh, bathroom baby is here. He, I mean, Becca can just love on him all day, and he adores it. He asks for it. I can't even get over it. So Sunday, of course, for whatever reason, Charlie was all snuggly with Becca, and I'm like, you suck, Becca. You suck. He loves his backpack. What are you going to do? It is what it is. Mommy, when you put it that sticky thing up, it looked Clear. When you put it down, it didn't. Well, it is clear, and then when you put it on the background, it has has you this see? on there. I do see. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. It is your job to not lose any of them. Okay. I won't lose anything. Can you can you help me with that job? You, you got yes. this foul. Okay. So I'm using craft board as the the back layer of the award that I'm using. And craft board, if you're not familiar with it, it's craft with a K. It is a Cricut product and I absolutely love it. I can't find anything comparable to it. If you all have found one comparable, let me know. They have it in, the only thing is this is not like a ton of color selections, but they have the basics. They have black and white and craft paper brown. And then they have um, a metallic selection of them. But craft board is, basically really 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 heavy card stock and I love it it's a really good base sometimes I'll actually use it for a card base I love it for 3d projects as well yeah okay so craft board you do just use your fine point blade so you don't have to have a special blade for it oh she's like hovering around the store she's taking this job very seriously good, good, good. yeah good job Fallon don't let go of them don't let go of them Fallon oh yeah so that uh that thing on Becca's arm is because bathroom baby is so heavy and she's lugging him around so often. She's literally got like tennis elbow from from lugging him around. So the doctor told her to wear this special brace for weeks to see if it if it helps. So she's gonna have a stupendous tan line tan line from this. Uh, it's not really working either. I've got to be honest. I. Oh. Um, I'm concerned that there's more damage than this is going to. Oh, back. I'm, I'm mildly concerned I may have to have surgery. Honestly, like sometimes I can't even move my arm up like this. And it, the other day was shooting down into my hand. Like, it's like generally localized right here. Sometimes it will shoot up my, my arm and it's awful. I have no, I, like I'm a strong person and I have no strength in my left arm right now. And it's terrible. Okay, Alan, let's clean this table up. Clean, clean. Clean it up. I look at you, stars. You're looking at you, stars. I'm looking at you, stars. You got a lot of junk on here, Fallow. I won't let go, dog. Don't. Never let go, Fall. Never let go. I want to see her. Who? Dolly. Dolly Parton? How did Who you doesn't get in line? Fam. Well, you know, we had our family pics taken last night and we went to Market Square and there's that amazing uh, picture alley or whatever where that mural of Dolly Parton is. Yeah. Well, Fallon's like laying on it. And she loves Dolly Parton. She said, Mom, is she real? I said, yeah. Is she real? She said, well, why? Ha she, it's on my bucket list to see her. Why haven't I seen her? Oh. I won't let go. And then she says, can you stand up? Oh, you're on the back side of this. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, um. Then she says, "Is she old?" And I said, "Yeah, baby, she's old." Does that mean she's gonna die soon? I was like, "No, Dolly will. Oh, live she'll live forever. She's gonna outlive us all. She will. No, she won't. She might. She might." Okay. Sorry, I have to get cleaned up, or I will. I can't. 
did you do the stars? Okay. All right. So, what, do you want to start with the rocket first, or do you want to start with the award first? Do whichever takes up those stars that she's guarding. That would be the rocket. Okay. Okay. So, what color base do you want for your rocket? Remember that the rocket is these colors right here, and it will also be a footprint. So, it probably needs to be lighter. Maybe I'll just choose the color. Does that sound good? Sure. Okay. I love that color. You love what? That color green. But, well, let's do this one so it's kind of like a light color. Um, I'm, I was going to make the card, what did I say? Um, eight and a half by five and a half. Mm -hmm. Finished. So let's cut this piece of card stock. You had to put us on our, you had to put us on your back last time. I did, man. We were doing like all these fun poses, you know, the typical like, Swing your kids. And I was like, really? Really? I get feck it. <laughs> I get feck it. He has like hollow bones. And Fallon is, uh, she's, she's just strong. She is solid. Yeah. Oh, look at those muscles. I mean, wow. Lisa. Look at this beautiful card we just made. Can you take this and crease like this? Yeah. Well, like this. There you go. Did you get your nails done today or yesterday? Yesterday. Rachel made fun of my nails. She says that I am a mammal because I got ombre nails. All I've seen is I, memos with those ombre I'm nails. sorry. I think they're adorable. I, think I didn't say they maybe, weren't adorable. Maybe you're the one who's I'd, not in time. Well. 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 <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do first with this card, are we overhead or front basic? Overhead. Okay. What I'm going to do first with this card is place the wording because it is most, um, it will matter most on placement. So before I remove that backing, let's grab... Also, a good rule of thumb anyways is biggest biggest to smallest on yeah. your design. Sometimes that's not possible when layering, but Did you take general. a star? No. Did you lose a star? No. <gasps> I was watching one. Did you lose a star, Fallon? It's your only job. I'm, I didn't lose it. Okay. I didn't. Okay. How many stars were there? I don't know. My eye moved up on me. Let's not count them right now, okay? Yep, I didn't lose any. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I don't know if you can tell or not. When I'm pulling this back, some of the letters are wanting to stick to us. No, it's not going to do it. Okay, so see how it's sticking down? All I'm going to do is just lay it back down and kind of push to kind of get it to re-adhere to the transfer sheet. This is very common. Sometimes your blade cuts too deep like it did on this. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the the backing has some cuts in it too. And sometimes when that happens, the vinyl doesn't want to come up from that backing quite as easily. It's totally normal. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and place this down. This is not forgiving. So we want to hover over the top like this. Make sure that we have it in a good spot and then lay it down because once it's laid down, you are probably not getting it back up. Smooth that out. I don't know. I haven't looked at the comments in a while. It says Jan on it. Mom, say something so she can see your name. Um, and I'll just spray over this again. I like to use vinyl on cardstock. I think it looks really cool. I think the texture looks really cool. Um, so now, Fallon, we're ready. We've got the rocket top. We have, I'm going to call it a fin because I don't know what it's called. We have the fire. I'm going to put it down here like there. That says mica. Well, actually, it doesn't. Yes, Fallon, show me what you're working with. She likes your muscles. Okay, that's all from those. And then we'll place those stickers in just a minute. 
So what you're going to do is put a little bitty footprint in the middle of this. They are called fins. They are fins? They are called fins. Sweet. I thought I made it up. I'm glad I did. I was ready to, to correct you. I was strong. I used to be strong. I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. The Art Glitter Glue is actually my preference because you can... It can be shipped in all temperatures, whereas the Barely Arts can't be. It's like under 42 degrees or something. I can't remember. It's weird. Yeah. It's so weird. This one is a whole lot cheaper. However, the lid to mine. I've got to find an, another bottle to put it in. Can I help with something? Yeah, you can help. Put the glue on that. Yeah, but don't like glop it on there. It doesn't need a ton. Uh, so Micah has a great question, not just for us, but for uh, maybe other members or viewers right now that do Let's make a lot like of this. cards. She said, do you make envelopes for all of your cards or just ones you plan to mail out or yeah. just for special occasions? Can this be answered by all, please? Yeah, so let us. If let us I know. were selling mm -hmm. cards, I would go ahead and make an envelope. Because if I'm buying a card personally, I'm going to want an envelope that fits it. Yeah. Um, I personally like to make envelopes if I'm making a card. It's super easy to do it. Um, and it's it, super professional. Well, and I also like to customize my envelopes. Uh, so go up here. Okay. Did you see kind of how I was drawing with it instead of just glopping it on there? That's good. That's enough. You don't have to have a lot of this. It sticks really well. And then we're gonna have to put a footprint up there. So, or do you wanna be baby footprints again with your hands? Yeah. Okay, let's put this up here first. I love pickles. What? Okay. Pickles. Oh. Oh, she's pointing to the pickle part. <laughs> Becca was like, what? Random facts with fallow. Fantastic. <laughs> oh. I was at Walmart the other day grocery shopping and past the pickle aisle yeah and i'm like i feel like i need about five jars of these so i got some pickled jalapenos i got some Ew, pickled really okra. i got some regular pickles and then i went over to the like the fridge section where the good cloths and pickles are that are never warm they're always cold i got a jar of those bad boys I, my sodium must have been low or something like that day because my mouth was watering in that aisle <laughs> i do love some pickles okay let's see here Put your hand right here. We're gonna make your little baby footprint again. Baby. A baby footprint. All right. Feels like a blanket. Yeah, because you're rubbing it on that. Oh, the sponge? Mm -hmm. You have sponge-like blankets? Okay. Put your hand right here. Now, use a real baby foot. Do you have a baby? No, no, no. It's not. It's fine. Lift straight up. Okay. Now give me this finger. This is hysterical. That, that looks pretty good, Becca. That's not terrible. That arch is, that's, that's some arch of the foot. Something. You know. <laughs> it's a new breed of baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Little toes. Oh, that pinky's a good one. <laughs> it's a good pinky toe. I love that it. is special. <laughs> the, those are some long hands. toes on that baby. Yeah, go wash your hands. Hey, Rachel, you want to mute her? Okay. Mike. So, that's yes. Some, that's some long baby toes. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm big. I'm telling you, it's a new breed of baby. I love it. I These love babies it. are going to rule the world. They are. <laughs> okay. So then we just have to put our stars on. I'm gonna grab some reverse tweezers because these stars are smaller than I thought they would be. Why is she saying She's I like literally pickles. in the bathroom with her mic off, just saying I love pickles. She thinks it's on. I know she does. I love pickles. Yeah. Fallo. You silly girl. You are. No, it's not on. You wish, Val. <laughs> We're smarter than that. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, baby, it was on then. You could see how this process is a whole 
lot more time intensive than the print and cut. So if you have a ton of these to make, that's why I suggested the print and cuts over this. But these are so cute. I love the texture of like layered cardstock um, cards and things like that. Yeah. We need to do something with glitter. We haven't used glitter in a while. <gasps> Ooh, you're right. And it's, you know that's a lot coming from me because I don't love working with glitter. Oh. I mean, well, it's around forever after that. Um, so completely unrelated. It just popped into my head. I found on Instagram today, you know, because I'm becoming a plant mom. I don't know how it's happened, but I am. They had these springs that were around 12 inches tall, maybe 5 inches in diameter and you put a planter in them and with a plant and then they like bobble when you it's like a dancing plant it's the cutest thing ever and i can't find them for any cheaper than 40 dollars a spring which Ooh. i think is ridiculous but i want one so bad yeah 40 bucks is rough it is rough it's ridiculous okay so that card is finished really cute now we're going to do this one i'm back are you back? Now is my phone. No. You have a funny... No, never mind. Never mind. What? Becca. <laughs> Good choice. Yes. Nothing, baby. My mic's not on? It is on. Yes, it is. You like, never mind. Yep. Yes, I was. I could have done this best ad in vinyl, too, but I figured seven letters were going to be good. Christy, just... Rachel's foot as a baby was small. I did have small feet. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My feet um, have been the same size since eighth grade. Where did you? So. Yeah, I wore an 11. I think I was I was 11 or 12 when I started wearing an 11. And I've, ever since. I already put them on. Look. Oh, I right. I Is it cute? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. She said I thought I lost them. No, Fallon, you did your job. You did your job. Okay. With uh -huh. Mimi? Uh-huh. Okay. Because we only stay a day at a time. That's all we do. Okay. <laughs> She's making some like, summer plans, Becca. Like, yeah. She's thinking through it. Mimi hasn't seen you in a while. She hasn't seen you in a while. Mimi is Wayne's mom. Okay. Oh, duty. <laughs> oh, duty. Oh, duty. What's duty? Poo. Poo? Yeah. Poo? My kids are in this poo phase. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, God. I think it's going to be like a good 10 years before we're out of it. I Like, that's all they want to talk if about. If you that's, as a mom, it'll be longer. It, honestly. I not see so, we're having, you know, family pictures taken last night, and the photographer's like, say something funny or something that and of course it's immediate poo immediate poo well they're videoing it as they're like behind the scenes stuff and i'm like <sighs> the whole thing perfect it's gonna be about poo i was watching this tiktok last night and it was this dad and both of his kids had ipads that they would play games on and whatnot and the little girl said dad can you can you remind me to do something i forget what it was do something later on tonight and he said let me show you how to make a reminder on your iPad because uh, those are super helpful and it will tell you. And the younger son, the younger brother said, I have, I have reminders on my iPad, dad. And he was like, well, what are they? And he goes, you can check. So he, the dad got the little boy's iPad and opened it up. Four different reminders that all just said poop. That's it. And I'm like this <laughs> boys. Honestly. Okay, this makes me feel better yes. that it's not just my no, kids. No, it said poop, all of them. Just what like is poop. wrong with this? I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember being that infatuated with poop. Mom can correct me if I'm wrong. I just don't remember it. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wow, Fallon. That was a fun sound. Almost finished here. This is so cute. Primarily because it's green. That's exciting. So, Rachel and I are spending the weekend together. We're really excited. We're going to have a pool party on Saturday. Yep. And then we're all eating tacos at my house. Tacos are like my favorite food. Yeah. 
And then Wayne is, yes, Pacey and Presley are coming. And Wayne is making ice cream. I'm so excited. And all the babies are going to be together. I chose to put this down here because I've offset this way. And so it's just. I love just, him. Yeah. Um, We're going to have so much fun. I'm really excited. Me too. I, I need some. Sunday was perfect too. Yes, I could have stayed at that lake. And I, I told Becca, I said, I could die right here. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Beautiful. It was. What are you going to teach? This evening, we're going to teach at the Boys and Girls Club. Okay, so now, Fallow, I need a white piece of cardstock. I'll get it. No, I've got one right here. And your hand. What color do you want the top of the trophy to be? Uh, oh, you know what? I don't want cardstock. I want craft board. Craft board. We're going to do white, baby. But what color do you want the hand to be? Uh, to be. Is that what color you want? Yeah. Look at the color of the trophy. Do you think red would look good with that? Maybe. I don't. That's why I'm asking. No. What if we do this color? I think that would look good with it. Okay. okay. Can I paint it? Well, you were going to paint your hand. Okay. No. No, no, no. Pick your hand up. <laughs> Other hand. Okay. I love the uh, mother-daughter top knots today. Well, you know, I perfected my top knot with this child. She was my dummy on the... Yes, yes. And then I grew my hair out so that I could do it. Yeah, I remember I remember the day Becca walked in and said, I think I'm going to grow my hair out. Now, she had hair just as short as mine, like pixie, pixie cut. And uh, she would get it cut like every three weeks because she couldn't even stand it like touching her ears. I remember. And she was like, I think I'm going to grow my hair out. I was like... <laughs> Whatever, Becca. She said, no, really. My goal is just a top knot. I want to wear a top knot like every day. And I was like, okay. Well, that was like three years ago. And so now I'll do both of our top knots and I'll look at Wayne and I'm like, whose is better? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> How dare you? Go wash your hand. How dare you? As you can tell, uh, I have a mini me right here. Yeah. I say she's pretty awesome, but... Don't worry, her mock's off. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Then I'm just going to hand cut this. And I'm going to leave a little bit of like an a... An offset? Like a an offset and then like a little stick so that I can glue it to the back. Does that make sense? You are smart, Becca. Yeah. I mean, wow. Like I think I think our uh, I think our company's in good hands when we have to peace out. Do you? I do. I think I think she has all the potential in the world. Poops and pickles over there. Poops and pickles. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Christina said, "Becca, can we have a video on how to do a top knot? I'm being serious. Sure. The, the next member only video. <laughs> top knot." I actually taught a lady at our church on Sunday how to do a top knot. You did not. I did. I think, mine, I think mine were decent. They were, yeah. Mine are pretty. But see, mine are thin hair top knots. Those, those were something to master. Well, it helps if one, your hair is dirty. Mm -hmm. Two, you have a lot of hair. Three, it is textured or curled. My hair is be like, and Fallon's too. It's better when our hair is curly. Um. So even if I like just plan to wear my hair up for seven days, I'll still wash it and diffuse it and everything so that my top knots are better. Yeah, yeah. No, Allie's, Allie's mom, Candace. Oh, yes. That's who I was teaching. Apparently we're related somehow. Really? Yeah. I love the Odoms. Okay. Look, it's like I'm a cricket. Wow. It's cut out perfectly. I don't Nana. know where Nana is. <laughs> Nana. Nana, come out, come out wherever you are. It's like she lives to be here for you. Yes, she does, for sure. Nana, you better be here all summer. Jane. This is probably my favorite of all of them. I really love this one. You want to give this one to Daddy for real? You can. I mean, on Father's Day. You got to make two more, Becca. Yes, I you do. Got, you need to make one for you. If you're, you're, now, you need to make one that says best wife, and then just hand that to him. 
You want my trophy wife thing? Yeah. Look exactly. how cute this is. Hang on, let me switch it up. It's adorable. It's, that's adorable. That's super cute. This is my favorite one. I'm impressed. Hands down, my favorite one. Oh, ha hands down. It was the last cut file that I made in the collection, and it was sort of like a, yeah, that's cute. It's quick. I'll make that. Here's Nana. I was finished. There's Nana. What did she say? She said, I'm here. Read it. You can read it. Anyway, if you all liked any of these cut files, if you like education, it doesn't always look like this. Most of the time it doesn't have a six-year-old with it, but sometimes we love to include our family because that's who we are. We're about community. We're about being real. We're about just all of that fun stuff here at Oak and Lamb. And we would love to have you as a member as well. Now is a great time to join. I'm sure Rachel is sharing the link with you all. We have a $20 off promotion right now using the code 20OFF. You can get $20 off our annual membership, which makes the first year and every other year $179. So that's like less than $15 a month if you break it down. Um, free access, not free access because you're paying for it, access to our cut file collection with free commercial use license, our courses, our member only content, which does include our podcast and our private Facebook group. So lots of value there in the membership. Uh, please join. If you like what we do here, membership does help us continue to do that. Another way to help if it is not in your financial means to join is to like and subscribe here on the YouTube channel. So go ahead and do that. It's free to do that. Um, she loves you, Nana. Oh, Bex does oh, Bex too. Oh, Bex says me too. Yeah. Nana, Beckett loves you and I do too. Yes. Nice muscle spell and super cute card. Thank you, Roberta. Um, Brenda, I am going to wear it. She told me it would take at least like scans. We'll see. I'm just got to get that worked out. Just not used to things taking forever to heal. I know. You know? Yeah. I would totally use these cards if our family actually appreciated cards. Christy and I get it. I totally get it. I love you so much, Nana. Hands down. Thank you, Micah. We love it here. Okay. Um. No, Wait. she said I love you too. Two. Two, two. I love you too, too. I like it, Nana. This is a Nana, glimpse at my life. Nana said, I <laughs> Look how close I she is to the screen. Too. Okay? <laughs> Come on, Tom. Thank you for being here with us. I hope you enjoyed the live, and we'll be live next week as well um, to get crafty. I don't really know what's on the agenda. We have so many fun things lined up. I, it's like I want to do all of them. It's hard to choose. It's, it's good, though. That's a good thing. Yes. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. But have a fantastic weekend, Memorial Day weekend, everyone. Be safe, too. Yes, be safe. We'll see you all next week. Bye, Nana.